All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome out to the campus of Del Valley High School as we are bringing you game two of this district matchup between your Bowie Bulldogs and the Del Valley Cardinals. AJ Arevalo here bringing you all the action live. A 731st pitch. We're getting a little start early, I believe. So fingers crossed as you see the Cardinals out on the field getting warm, getting loose. For those who missed it last night, heck of a game between these two as the Bulldogs' bats finally came alive in the fourth inning. Started out with a two RBI triple from Jaden Francis, and the Bulldogs go on to win it eight to nothing. So Cardinals hoping to split the series here as we are set to get underway. Adon Velasquez on the mound for the Cardinals. Starting lineup here. For your Bowie Bulldogs, Ty Kutek will be batting first. Jaden Francis batting second. Danny Rodriguez third. Jonathan Gonzalez fourth. Ben Merriman, Brody Miller, Travis Starkey, Cade Urbanski, and Mason Winters rounding out the end. Is that first one? For Velasquez to Kutek. It's called for ball one. Count goes 1-0. As that one gets swung on. It's a high fly down the left field line and almost getting to it. There's left fielder Diego Mendez for the Cardinals. Can't quite get there in time, though. It's going to go down for strike one for Kutek. Counts even now, one and one. So one ball, one strike, no outs. Here's the pitch. Swung on in a bouncer towards second. It's going to get fielded. The throw to first is in time. As that'll be out number one. Jaden Francis is going to make his way up to the plate now. As I mentioned, kick-started the Bulldog offense last night with a two-RBI triple in the fourth inning. As he looks to hopefully repeat is outing is here's the first pitch it's going to be a little bit high ball one counts one and oh yes. Jaden francis pops that one up towards right field and able to bring that one in is going to be ben rodriguez as that'll go down as out number two Next up to the plate is going to be Danny Rodriguez with two outs here, top of the first. No runners on for the Bulldogs. Let's go, Danny. And on Velasquez up on the mound for the Cardinals as he gets set. Pitch is going to be high and inside. Ball one, counts one and oh. Rodriguez going two for two last night. This is Bat picked up in the fifth inning with a couple singles. And here was a run that came across last night for the Bulldogs. So one ball, no strikes, two outs. Pitch is low and away. Ball two. Counts two and zero. Oh. Velasquez with the 2-0 pitch. High and inside. Ball three. Counts three and zero. Oh. Rodriguez keeping a good eye there at the plate. Chance to be the first Bulldog on base here this evening. As it's three balls, no strikes, two outs, still no runners on. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. As thought that was going to be a little too low, but it wasn't. It's called for strike one. Counts three and one for Rodriguez. Jonathan Gonzalez is on deck. As we'll see him if Rodriguez can make it to first. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. There's the high inside for ball four. And Rodriguez, first Bulldog on base here this evening as he gets walked to first, which is going to bring up number 10, Jonathan Gonzalez. He's our DH here this evening. Gonzalez came in uh, in the fifth as a pinch hitter for Mason Winters. With a two RBI double as he bangs that one towards second. That throw to first is in time. 
And he'll go down as out number three. So four batters come up. One runner left on here for the Bulldogs. That'll do it for the top of the first. And just as before, folks, we'll hang out here. Got to give some thanks out to our sponsors. First one tonight's going to be Robinson Creek Home and Healthcare, our Grand Slam sponsor for the 2022 baseball season. Are you looking for high-quality, compassionate health care for your aging parent or grandparent? Robinson Creek Home Health and Hospice can help. We offer a variety of home health and hospice care services, all that administered in the comfort of your home. Our skilled, knowledgeable nurses and therapists help your loved ones recover and manage their conditions. And in most cases, our services are 100% covered by Medicare. We're a local female-owned company committed to doing the things right. Visit rchomehealthhospice.com today. So line up here for your Bulldogs. Patrick Colopy is going to be on the mound. He'll get the call. Here to start out over at the plate. It's going to be Travis Starkey. Danny Rodriguez over at first. Jaden Francis at second. Mason Winters at shortstop. Cade Urbanski at third. Left field is going to be Ty Kutek. Center field is Ben Merriman. And right field will have Brody Miller. For the Cardinals... Starting lineup here is going to be Diego Sandoval. He'll lead off. Diego Mendez will be batting second with Jacob Lopez batting third. Bulldogs rocking some nice all-black uniforms. Black numbers outlined in red. Cardinals coming out all white with their red numerals and name on the chest. So first up is going to be Diego Sandoval for the Cardinals. Sandoval 0 for 3 yesterday as he takes the first one. Swings it's going to come right towards the camera as you can see. As that'll go down as strike one. No balls, one strike. Here for Sandoval is Colopy with the pitch. It's going to be low and outside. Ball one. Counts even now, one and one. Colby with the pitch, swung on. He's going to get tipped. Starkey will get that right in his glove. That'll be strike two. Count goes one and two here for Sandoval. Colby moving quick. Here's the pitch. It's outside. Trying to get him reaching. No luck. That'll be ball two. Counts even now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Colby with the pitch. Swung on it and goes behind as well. Count will stay two and two. As Diego Mendez is up next as he gets his workout in early, coming up and fetching those foul balls. Sandoval gets set. Colopy set. Here's your 2 2 pitch. There's a high fly towards right field. Miller working his way, gets underneath it and pulls it in towards the fence for out number one. As you hear Coach DiGello yell out to Miller, good wheels as he had to run out there. And as Colopy throws a high fastball to Diego Mendez. That gets called for ball one. Count goes 1-0. and oh. Jacob Lopez is on deck for the Cardinals. As here's the 1-0 pitch from Colopy. It's going to be a bouncer towards the Cardinal dugout. Strike one. Counts even now 1-1. One and one. One ball, one strike, one out, no runners on for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch from Colopy. And Mendez thinks about it. He's able to hold back, though, just in time. That'll be ball two. Counts now two and one. Two one pitch is going to be swung on by Mendez and missed. That'll be strike two. Counts even now two and two. As Mendez gets set, Colopy's set. Here's your 2 2 pitch. Gonna be probably a little outside. That'll be ball three. Count goes full. Three and two. Here's the pitch from Colopy. It's gonna get tipped. It's up in the air. 
And Starkey can get underneath it and almost able to bring it in. Gets lost in the sun. As that'll be a foul ball. Count stays full, three and two. Got a nice fun fact spreadsheet here given to me by the booster clubs for our our uh, for our players. And I just found an interesting fact of Patrick Colopy is that's a bouncer towards first. And gonna take it himself as Danny Rodriguez for out number two. Alright, folks. Interesting fact from Mr. Colopy there on the mound. This guy's got 12 toes. <laughs> How about that? Is first pitch to Jacob Lopez is tipped and goes behind. It'll be strike one. Counts 0 and 1. Not 10, not 11, but 12 toes. So no balls, one strike, two outs. Here's the pitch from Colopy. One's going to get popped up in the air, and I'm going to have to look up as they got me outside here this evening. Strike two, count goes 0 and 2. So here's the quick pitch from Colopy. And it's going to be low and in the turf for ball one. Count one and two. And a very nice turf field here in Del Valley. This is kind of a treat for your first away game. As here's the 1 2 pitch from Colopy. That one's going to get hammered way foul right. Count will stay 1 and 2. Lopez is set. Colopy with the pitch. And a fastball catches him looking. Strikeout number one for Colopy. Out number three, and that'll do it. So after one, scoreless as we get ready to go into the second. So with the new inning, We'll give a big thank you out to our RBI sponsor, Maxwell Lock and Ritter CPAs, serving clients, building relationships, and positively impacting our community. Those are the cornerstones of Maxwell Lock and Ritter and MLNR Wealth Management. With our team of experienced professionals, you're gaining trusted business advisors for your accounting, tax, and wealth camera. management needs. Is this just camera? Uh, it's. Uh, camera. You can't hang it on the net. You can hang it on the chain link, but not the net. Really? Yep. The first rule ever told us that. Sorry about that, folks. With our team of experienced professionals, you're gaining trusted business advisors for your accounting, tax, and wealth management needs in Central Texas. To learn more about how Maxwell Lock and Ritter and MLNR Wealth Management can help you achieve your personal or business goals, visit us online at www.mlrpc.com. As our Dangerous GoPro camera is going to have to get taken down. Cardinals have a brand new net here, so take an extra careful care of it. So here at the top of the second, Ben Merriman is going to be set to lead off for the Bulldogs. Brody Miller batting second. Travis Starkey batting third. Merriman 0 for 2 last night. He was able to get on base a few times. He got hit by a ball, uh, by a pitch, and then was walked as well. As the first throw gets called for strike one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a little high for ball one. Counts even now, one and one. Well, one ball, one strike. That one goes way wide right. Ball two. Counts two and one. Merriman making his way back into the box. Two balls, one strike. Still no outs. There's the pitch to Merriman. As he hammers that one from Velasquez towards third. Big throw to first is in time. Oh, it dropped, but they're going to say he held on to it. I guess held on to it long enough. As Merriman will go down as out number one here in the top of the second. 
Goes Roberto Velasquez over at third with that big throw over to J.D. Falls at first for the Cardinals. Which is going to bring up number 15, Brody Miller. No runners on. One out here in the second. That one's going to be high and outside. Ball one. Counts one and oh. Brody one for two last night. Able to hit a single in the fifth. As here's the pitch. It's going to be low for ball two. Counts two and oh. Velasquez gets set. Here's a 2-0 pitch to Miller. As he gets a piece of that one, that's going deep towards right field, towards the fence, and it's going to be caught. Wow. Right fielder Ben Rodriguez for the Cardinals has to leg that one out and is able to catch it in stride by the fence as Miller will be out number two. So with two outs here, top of the second, catcher Travis Starkey will make his way up to the plate. Starkey, one for two last night. Had a nice two RBI, excuse me, single RBI, single, RBI single, blah, up. So that'll get called for ball one. Second game of the year, folks. Got to get the, got to get back in the zone, back in the, Back in the swing of things, as here's the 1-0 pitch to Starkey. It's going to be low for ball two. Counts 2-0. Two so two balls, no strikes, two outs here for the Bulldogs. Top of the second, still scoreless. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. It's going to be a high fastball. Ball three, counts 3-0. Three so Starkey doing a good job reading the pitches, not offering. As he gets set to take the 3-0 pitch. And that one's going to be high and inside. Almost catches his elbow. But that'll be ball four. Four straight balls, and Starkey will make his way over to first. As we're going to have a pinch runner come in. Let's see if I can get a number over there. I believe that's McGowan. I'll uh, get a better look here shortly. But here up to the plate now is Cade Urbanski with two outs, one runner on. Breaking ball over the plate for strike one. Counts 0-1. No balls, one strike. Look over at first, but no throw is going to be made. I got J.D. Foz blocking my view there. For the Cardinals, can't see a number, but it's no balls, one strike. Urbanski's at the plate, one runner on. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside, ball one. Counts even now, one and one. And that is McGowan. He's out there pinch running for Starkey. As Urbanski goes low to get a piece of that one. It's going to get fielded, throw into first. That'll be out number three. Another winner left on here for the Bulldogs. for all of your roof, stucco, stone, gutters, carpentry, siding, and paint needs. Let us be your one-stop shop to fix everything at once on your home's exterior. Call us at 512-790-ROOF or go to wolfpeckrfg.com and join the pack. As you see Patrick Colopy there on the mound, getting warm, getting loose. Right fielder Ben Rodriguez set to lead off here in the bottom of the second for the Cardinals. First baseman J.D. Foz will follow him along with third baseman Roberto Velasquez right after that. Yeah. 
So Ben Rodriguez makes his way out to the plate. Rodriguez going 0 for 2 last night. As he gets set. Here's the first pitch from Colopy. Fastball towards the outside edge. That'll get called for strike one. Counts 0 and 1. As that one gets chopped towards the, the, the uh, Bulldog dugout. That'll be strike two. Counts 0 and 2. Colopy getting a hit quick here in the count against Ben Rodriguez. No balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a little too far outside. Trying to get Rodriguez to reach, but not going to give anything. It's going to be ball one. Counts one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Rodriguez hits that one towards Collip. He can't get his hand on it. Winters with the field. Throw to first is not in time. As Rodriguez is able to leg that one out. Winters had to field that one on the hop. It'll be a single for Rodriguez. No outs here, bottom of the second. Cardinals trying to get something rolling as here comes first baseman J.D. Foz up to the plate. It's going to be a fastball right over the plate for strike one. Counts 0-1. J.D. Fawz, 0 for 3 last night, three strikeouts. For him as he looks to avoid the hat trick tonight. Quick throw down to first, is not in time. Probably will get reset and we'll do it again. No balls, one strike, one runner on here for the Cardinals. Colopy, another throw down to first, not in time. Still scoreless here in the second inning. And that one's going to be a liner between short and third. Goes all the way to left field. A base hit for J.D. Fawz. As the Cardinals getting moving now. Which is going to bring up third baseman Roberto Velasquez with no outs. Two runners on here, bottom of the second. Colopy going to have to work his way out of this one now as he gets set. There's a pitch to Velasquez showing bunt. It's going to go straight towards Colopy. He fields it. Going to throw it to third at a fielder's choice to force the out. And that'll be out number one. We got J.D. Foz over at second. Roberto Velasquez at first. He's going to stay put on the fielder's choice. And here comes catcher number 10, Christian Mendoza for the Cardinals with one out here in the second. Colopy, quick check over to Foz at second. Here's the pitch. Low and outside, ball one. Counts one and oh. We saw Christian Mendoza last night for one inning as he came in to pitch after Diego Mendez. As that one's going to be swung on and missed by Mendoza for strike one. Counts even one and one. One ball, one strike. Colopy, quick check, two runners on. Here's the pitch. Fastball right over the middle there for strike two. Counts one and two now here for Christian Mendoza. Colby looking for that out number two as he gets set. Here's the pitch to Mendoza. Hi, Starkey going to try a quick throw down to first, and it's not in time. That'll be ball two for Mendoza. Counts even now two and two. So two balls, two strikes, one out. Colopy, quick check at second again. Swing and a miss. 
and goes. It will go down swinging for out number two. Which is going to bring up number three pitcher, Ron Velasquez. And I went 0 for 2 last night. Had a pop up towards the pitcher and struck out swinging his second time at bat. And that's going to be inside. Hits the plate, though, for strike one. Counts 0 and 1. No balls, one strike. Ron Velasquez at the plate. Here's the pitch from Colopy. It's low for ball one. Counts even now, 1 and 1. Hollopy, check over at second. He gets set. Here's the pitch. It's going to get chopped behind. Foul. Count goes one and two. And this Colopy is one strike away from getting out of this inning after allowing two base runners, or I guess three base runners technically. It's one ball, two strikes, two outs. Two runners on. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside for ball two. Counts even now, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. There's a swinging and a miss as Velasquez will go down as out number three. And Colopy with some nice pitching gets out of this inning. Three runners on. One gets out with two left on. Two hits allowed, but also two strikeouts, and that'll do it for the second as we are still scoreless here in Dove Valley. All right, folks, still scoreless here as the third inning is about to get underway. I want to give a big thanks to OmniSure Consulting. OmniSure Consulting Group would like to thank everyone in the healthcare and education professions for your dedication during the most challenging of times. You are truly our heroes. Our CEO, Michelle Earl, says baseball brings everyone together, no matter the background or circumstances. We are so grateful. Our kids have had the opportunity to play sports and enjoy the great outdoors these past couple of years. From all of us at OmniShore, go dogs! So Adam Velasquez back on the mound here for the Cardinals. Mason Winters in the ninth spot here for the Bulldogs makes his way up to the plate. Top of the order will be due next as Ty Kutek is on deck, followed by Jaden Francis. Mason Winters going 0 for 3 last night, looking to break his streak here as he watches that one go by for strike one. Counts 0 and 1. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside for ball one. Counts even now 1 and 1. I do apologize, folks. I'm working the camera here as well. And it's catching the net, so the focus is kind of going out as breaking ball will be watched by Winters for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. And Winters gets a piece of that one towards the buoy dugout. Count will stay one and two. Winters protecting the plate now, staying alive. As it's one ball, two strikes. Here, no outs. Top of the third. Velasquez with the pitch. Winters gets a piece of it. Goes straight towards short. It's going to be fielded. The throw to first is barely in time. As Winters will go down as out number one. So 
So here comes top of the order now for the Bulldogs as Ty Kutak will make his way out to the plate. Get a grounder towards second in the first inning. Looking to make his way on base now as Velasquez gets set. It's one out, no runners on. Here's the pitch. And we'll get hit foul right over the Cardinal dugout. Strike one for Kutek. Counts 0-1. No balls, one strike, one out here, top of the third. Pitch from Velasquez. Kutek gets a little bouncer, goes right over the head of Velasquez. It's fielded by Sandoval. And there's no throw is going to be made. That just had a nasty bounce there for Kutek. That'll go down as a single. Which is going to bring up Second baseman, number five, Jaden Francis, up to the plate. He's got one out, one runner on with Kutek over at first. As the Bulldog bats start to slightly come alive, see if we can keep the trend going. As he will make an offering at that one. Tries to pull back, but can't pull back in time. That'll be strike number one. Counts 0-1. High throw by Velasquez is ball one. Counts even now one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. As Jaden Francis gets set. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. Kutek going to take off towards second. The bouncer is in time and the tag is made. That was an excellent throw by Christian Mendoza. Makes it in. Even better catch by Jacob Lopez. As Kutak will get caught stealing. Route number two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside for ball two. Counts even now two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And the number two hitter, Jaden Francis, at the plate. As he gets a piece of it, it's going to bounce towards third, and it's dropped by third baseman Roberto Velasquez as it hits his glove. Francis can make his way to first. That one's going to be an error on the third baseman there as Danny Rodriguez will make his way up to the plate now with two outs and one runner on for the Bulldogs. Rodriguez was walked in the first. As he gets set. Velasquez with the pitch. And get called for strike one. Counts 0-1. Velasquez, quick check over at Francis at first. Rodriguez, gets a swing at that one. And get called for strike two, counts 0-2. Jaden Francis holds true at first. So it's no balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on first as Rodriguez makes his way back into the batter's box. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. It's in the dirt. It's behind Mendoza, and Jaden Francis still stays true at first. It's going to be ball one. Counts one and two for Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez looking to get on base again. As Velasquez steps off and takes a peek over at Jaden Francis at first. Rodriguez committed to St. Edwards. That's where he's going to play some ball next year. There's Velasquez with the pitch. 
A liner between first and second. As Jaden Francis will round second. He'll be held up at third. And a single for Rodriguez. Puts a runner in scoring position. As Francis holds true at third. Which is going to bring up designated hitter number 10, Jonathan Gonzalez. Up to the plate. Gonzalez hit a grounder towards second back in the first. With two outs here in the third, he has a chance to get an RBI added to his name here. So Jaden Francis at third. Rodriguez is going to go ahead and take off towards second. He'll trot his way over as... <laughs> Velasquez gives a grid. Uh, Rodriguez gets a steal. That's two runners in score position now. So that's going to be ball one for Gonzalez. Pitch. Big, big swing by Gonzalez. Can't make contact. Strike one. Counts even now one and one. So Jaden Francis is over at third. Rodriguez is at second. And Jonathan Gonzalez at the plate. Adon Velasquez with the pitch. That's inside and catches the elbow of Gonzalez. And that brings bases loaded for center fielder number two, Ben Merriman. He's going to walk over to Coach DeGel there real quick. Get a quick talking to, tighten his gloves. With two outs, bases loaded. The Bulldogs have a good chance here to get some runners across as the Cardinals are going to call time and make their way out to the mound. So while they do that, I'll give a thank you to LDC, now HR Green, one of our sponsors here for the baseball season for over a century. HR Green has been driven by our commitment to providing engineering, technical, and management solutions that connect and shape our communities through client success. Visit our website to connect with our team and start planning your project success. Merriman able to make his way on base last night. I'm sure I probably said this already, but we're going to say it again. Uh, twice. He was walked in the fourth and then took one in the leg in the sixth. That's the Cardinals. Taking some time on the mound now. Using all of those that available time as <laughs> he can. As they break quick as our as Big Blue makes his way up to the mound. So bases loaded here for the Bulldogs, folks. Top of the third. Still scoreless. Jaden Francis at third. Rodriguez is over at second. Gonzalez is at first. Ben Merriman's at the plate. As Adon Velasquez gets set. Here's the pitch. Merriman pops that one up. That's going to be underneath as J.D. Foss gets it. And he drops it. Can't get it quite underneath it. As we're going to get two runs across. in Jaden Francis and Rodriguez. As the Bulldogs get things rolling. Let's go, Brody. So Jonathan Gonzalez is around. But Brody Miller's up at the plate now. One runner on. Here's the pitch. It's going to be high as Merriman will go ahead and take off towards second. It's going to be ball one. Counts one and oh. That's going to be strike one for Brody Miller. Counts even now, one and one. Not at all. So Gonzalez over at third. Merriman's at second. Two outs. Counts even at one and one. Bulldogs with a 2-0 lead as here's the pitch. It's going to be low. Are you sure? Nice stop by Mendoza. So it'll be ball two. Counts two and one now. Two runners in scoring position for the Bulldogs. Looking to maybe add a few more if they can. And Velasquez gets set. Here's the pitch to Miller. 
Be too high. Ball three. Counts three and one. Miller hit a deep fly ball to right field. His last at bat in the second. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. Too high. It's going to be ball four. And base is loaded yet again for the Bulldogs. So that's going to bring up number 24, Travis Starkey. With two outs and an opportunity to get some more runs in for the Bulldogs. Kater Bansky will be on deck if Starkey can make his way on. So, Gonzalez at third, Merriman at second, Miller at first. Here's the pitch to Starkey. Outside, ball one. Counts one and oh. Two outs. Still top of the third. And the Bulldogs trying to extend this 2 to nothing lead over the Cardinals. Another high fastball. Ball two. Counts two and oh. Two balls, no strikes, two outs here for Travis Starkey. Pitch. As he gets a piece of that one, it goes straight towards our camera here. It'll be strike one. Counts two and one. Starkey with a good opportunity to show off his offensive skills, as you usually see him playing defense there behind the plate. It's going to be a low fastball called for strike two. Anything protected. Counts even two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded. As Travis Starkey will go in protection mode here now. Here's the pitch. Gets a piece of that one right past the outstretched glove of the second fielder for the Cardinals as one run comes across. And another. We'll get a two RBI single for Travis Starkey as the Bulldogs extend their lead yet again. So Miller is going to hold up at second. McGowan's going to come in to pinch hit for Starkey over at first. That's going to bring in Cade Urbanski up to the plate. Two outs. Here's the pitch. That's a big hit, but it goes foul very quickly for Urbanski for strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs. Runners on second and first here for Urbanski. As four runs have come across so far here, top of the third for the Bulldogs. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. Well, that one's going to be a short blooper towards Velasquez. He gets it up, barehanded it to first. As that'll do it for out number three. And a big third inning here for the Bulldogs as they bring four runs across. And take a 4-0 lead over the Del Valley Cardinals. Patrick Colopy will make his way back out to the mound. Andy. Pedro Gutierrez will be set to lead off for the Cardinals here at bottom of the third with Diego Sandoval, top of the loader, batting second, and Diego Mendez batting third. Cruz Teca, one of our baseball sponsors this here for the 2022 spring season, located at 5207 Brody Lane. Cruz Teca is a locally owned family restaurant that taps into the family's roots with a full menu representing various regions of Mexico and Texas. All of Cruz Teca's dishes are made to order and feature salsas made from scratch. Catering available for every event. Check out Cruz Teca's extensive menu at cruzteca.com. That's C-R-U-Z-T-E-C-A dot com. And as I mentioned yesterday, and I will mention it again, if you go, you enjoy the salsa. Wow, my favorite is heading to Cruz Teca and getting some salsa. My uh, my kids love it. Say it's too hot. Not for me, of course. For the kids, it is. But it's delicious. 
So bottom of the third, set to get underway. Bulldogs with a 4-0 lead, so Colopy. Gonna look to keep that goose egg up there for the Cardinals. As Gutierrez will watch that one go by for strike one. Counts 0-1. Colopy. That one's gonna be called for ball one. Counts even now, one and one. So one ball, one strike here for Gutierrez. Here's the pitch from Colopy. As Gutierrez pops that one foul behind for strike two. Counts one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch as Snarky gets in front of it and hits him in the helmet. Takes it off real quick. Looks to be okay. That will be ball two. Counts even now two and two, and or maybe not. Looks like it, it's going to nick Gutierrez in the leg, so he'll get walked on over to first. Which brings up top of the order, Diego Sandoval. He had a fly out towards right field his first time at bat in the first inning. As he takes a rip at that one, can't make contact. That'll be strike one. Counts 0-1. So no outs here for the Cardinals. Bottom of the third. Runner on first as Gutierrez gets a short lead. Colopy going to do a quick stare down. Here's the pitch. That's a bullet towards first. Past the outstretched gloves of... Ooh, big throw in. All right, about that, folks. Pass the glove of Danny Rodriguez. There's a single by Sandoval. Will advance Gutierrez over to second. They'll sit tight at first. Two runners on now. Yet again here for the Cardinals. As number 22, Diego Mendez, left fielder for the Cardinals, will make his way up to the plate. Hit a bouncer towards first. As Rodriguez has got the unassisted out as there's a bunt. Colopy picks it up. Big throw to first is in time. And Colopy had to throw a bullet towards first. And that's what Jaden Francis came over to cover. But Mendez with a sacrifice bunt. Will be out number one. The runners will advance. So Sandoval will sit at second with Diego Gutierrez. As there's a big hit by Jacob Lopez. It's going to be caught by Kites Kutak. Makes a throw in and a run's able to come across after that wild throw. As Gutierrez comes in and scores. The Cardinals able to get one across. Sandoval still at second as Gutierrez comes across to give the run. Bulldogs with a 4-1 lead still over the Cardinals. Two outs now as Ben Rodriguez is up to the plate. So it'll be called for ball one. So one ball, no strikes. It's going to be low for a ball two. Counts 2-0. and oh. Two balls, no strikes, two outs here. As Colopy gets set. Diego Sandoval is at second for the Cardinals. Ben Rodriguez at the plate. As he gets a piece of that one, it's going to go foul immediately. For strike one, counts 2-1 and one now. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch to Rodriguez as he watches that one for strike two. Counts even now, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Colopy gets set. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss by Ben Rodriguez. He will go down, swinging for out number three, and that'll do it. 
As a little bit of bleeding here gets plugged and stopped. One run does come across for the Cardinals as the Bulldogs maintain a 4-1 to one lead. As the fourth inning set to get underway. Mason Winters will be set to lead off here for the Bulldogs. Top of the order right after him with Kai Kutak batting second. And Jaden Francis batting third. Lone Star Baseball, one of our dog sponsors here this year. Lone Star Baseball Club is the premier youth and high school baseball program in the state of Texas. Operating as a nonprofit, our focus is on developing young men as ball players and high quality individuals ready to contribute to our communities. Our record is unmatched in providing and finding opportunities for our ball players to play at the next level. We are Lone Star. Aiden Velasquez back on the mound for the Cardinals. As Mason Winters gets set to make his way up to the plate. For those watching at home, this has got a nice little Twitter handle there. At AJ underscore A-R-E-V-A-L-O. And the number one. Tell me hello. Let's see who's tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the game so far. For those who missed it, last night was a heck of a game as the Bulldogs came away with an 8-0 win. Uh, around district, though, Westlake takes care of San Marcos 6-0. Lake Travis takes care of the Hayes Rebels 11-0. Bulldogs over Del Valley, of course. And the Austin High Maroons beat the Eagles in 10, 5-4. As that first pitch to Winters gets called for strike one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. That's going to be in the dirt early for Velasquez. It'll be ball one. Counts even now one and one. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Another low throw by Velasquez is ball two. Counts two and one. Winters. Hit a grounder towards short with his first at bat. Here's the pitch from Velasquez. Another low throw. Ball three. Counts three and one. Three balls, one strike here for Mason Winters. There's Velasquez with the pitch. And Winters takes a crack at it. It's going to be a high floater towards second. And that's going to be brought in by who is Jacob Lopez, that is, for out number one. So top of the order here now as Ty Kutak makes his way up to the plate. Hit a single the previous inning back in the third. And hit a grounder towards second in the first. No runners on, one out. He gets a piece of that one towards right field. That one's going deep. The right fielder's trying to leg it out. Dives and misses. Going to bounce off the wall as Kutak's going to round first and hold up at second for a double. And the Bulldogs are in business again. One runner in scoring position now as Jaden Francis makes his way up to the plate. Rodriguez will be on deck getting loose. So one out, top of the fourth. Kutex over at second. Francis is at the plate. Here's the pitch. And that one gets away from Mendoza, and Kutek will make his way to third. So Kutek at third, one ball. For Jaden Francis, no strikes. As Coach, <laughs> Coach DeJelly gets a stern talking to from our infield up. So one ball, no strikes, one out. Jaden Francis gets set. Looking to bring Taiku Tak home as that's going to be low and hits home plate for ball two. Counts two and oh. Taiku 
It's a nice night out for baseball, folks. A cool 66 degrees. Doesn't feel like it. As here's a pitch to Francis. Again, in the dirt. It's ball three. Jaden Francis thought about it, pulled back, and you hear Coach DeGilly immediately. That's three in a row. What you doing? Hold true. Watch a few go by. He's got a few to give. Scoot Tex over at third. It's a 3 0 pitch. Fastball over home plate. That's the, uh, that's the gimme there on that 3 0 pitch. That's going to be strike one for Jaden Francis. So three balls, one strike, one out, one runner on. There's a pitch. And that's way high. Christian Mendoza. Able to glove that one, keeps Kutek at third, and that's going to be a walk for Francis. Over to first. So here comes first baseman Rodriguez up to the plate. One for one so far as he hit a single in the third. One of the runs to come across here for the Bulldogs. He was walked back in the first and left on. And it's one out. Runners on the corners for the Bulldogs. Velasquez takes a quick step off and checks our runners. It's going to be another low throw from Velasquez for ball one. Counts one and oh. Pitch is in the dirt. Mendoza gets in front of it. Jaden Francis will take advantage of it. He'll make his way over to second. It's going to be ball two. Counts two and oh. And the Bulldogs now have two runners in scoring positions with one out. Here in the fourth inning. Velasquez about to break the 70 pitch mark here with this throw as... It's going to pop up right behind me for strike one for Rodriguez. Counts two and one. So two balls, one strike, one out. Jaden Francis over at second. Ty Kutek still at third. As Don Velasquez gets set, here's the pitch to Rodriguez. That's going to be high and inside as that was close to the helmet of Rodriguez, and he did not flinch. I would have hit the dirt on that one. But ball three nonetheless. Three balls, one strike, one out. And Velasquez in danger of walking the bases loaded here. As Rodriguez calls a quick time. Here's a 3-1 pitch to Rodriguez. Uh, so that's going to be too low for ball four and as anticipated. Base is loaded now after that walk. As here comes Jonathan Gonzalez, our designated hitter tonight. RBIs right here. He took one to the elbow in the third, was able to make it on base, and then hit a grounder towards second as the Cardinals are going to call time and make their way out to the mound. Velasquez at 73 pitches so far, and that will do it here for this evening. So Adon will make his way to the dugout. Let's see who the relief pitcher is going to be for the Cardinals. As Del Valley has been, uh, at least the Del Valley coaching staff has been very secretive with their lineup and pitching crew. It looks like it's going to be number two, Diego Sandoval, up to the plate. Or excuse me, to the mound. And it will be. <laughs> so Sandoval will move over to the mound. And let's see who the new shortstop's going to be. And it might be it on Velasquez. Yeah. 
No, it's going to be Christian Mendoza, our catcher. He'll make his way to shortstop. So we'll have a new catcher here. And that's a single-digit number, so I'm not sure who that is catching here. It might be... I don't want to take a guess. I don't know who that is. Yeah, folks, I'm trying to get a name here. Well, not sure. We'll wing it. But Diego Sandoval is going to be on the mound now here for the Cardinals. And Jonathan Gonzalez will be the first batter to face off against Sandoval. It is Jordan Rico, it looks like. The catcher for the Cardinals. Going to be called for ball one for Gonzalez. Counts one and zero. Oh. And with one out, bases loaded, Sandoval is going to have his work cut out for him. And so here's the pitch to Gonzalez. Oh no! Quick times called. Enrico is going to make his way out and have a quick chit chat with Sandoval. So here we are, folks. Top of the fourth. Bulldogs with a four to one lead over the Del Valley Cardinals. Ty Kutak is over at third. Jaden Francis is over at second. Danny Rodriguez is over at first. Jonathan Gonzalez at the plate. So bases loaded, one out. Some RBIs right there for you. Did you hear the crowd? Some easy RBIs if you can get a base hit. And here's the pitch. That's going to hit home plate. Probably ball two, counts two and oh. Sandoval with a 2-0 pitch. There's Gonzalez thinks about it, pulls back, hits home plate though, so that'll be strike one anyway for Gonzalez. 2-1. Count goes 2-1. and one. I think Our scoreboard's going to have to get reset again. There it goes. Two balls, one strike, one out, bases loaded. Gonzalez gets a piece of it. It's a bouncer off the second base glove as Ty Kutek's going to make his way around. So is Jaden Francis. And it looks like Rodriguez will get held up at third. It's going to be a two RBI single by Gonzalez as the Bulldogs extend their lead. All right, so I can fix this here. There we go. All right, Bulldogs with a 6 1 lead as here comes Ben Merriman up to the plate. Runners on the corners for the Bulldogs. So we'll see if Gonzalez tries to go and steal second as that gets called for strike one. Counts 0-1 for Merriman. So Danny Rodriguez over at third. Jonathan Gonzalez at first. Ben Merriman's at the plate. Quick throw down to first, not in time. Still one out, top of the fourth. And after that hit, Bulldogs with a 6-1 to one lead over the Cardinals. Sandoval with a pitch and a nice... Hit by Merriman. It's going to be fielded by the second base. Throw to seconds in time, and they're going to hold that one. They'll be out number two. As Gonzalez will get a hit on the fielder's choice. Rodriguez will make his way across home, though, and another run will get added to the tally for the Bulldogs. And there's a big hit by Brody Miller. It's going to bounce in right. And it looks like Merriman will get, will get held up there at second. He wanted to go for third, and Coach DiGiolio said, nope. Stay hot, T. Put the hold sign up, and there he was. So two outs now. Miller with a single. Runners, first and second. 
here comes catcher number 24, Travis Starkey, up to the plate. Starkey with a two RBI single in the third. And he was walked in the second. Having a pretty decent night there at the plate. So that first pitch will be called for ball one. Counts one and up. So one ball, no strikes, two outs. Runners on first and second for the Bulldogs. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. As that breaking ball goes right down the middle for strike one. Counts even one and one. Counts even, one and one. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. Starkey takes a rip, can't make contact. So that'll be strike two. Count goes one and two. Starkey in protection mode now. Two outs, top of the fourth. And Bulldogs with a seven to one lead, looking to stretch that out a little bit more if they can. Here's the pitch. It's gonna be low and outside. Ball two. Counts even yet again, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitch. There's a blooper towards short. It's going to be picked up and dropped. As bases are loaded. It's going to be an E6 for Starkey there as he makes his way to first. Miller will go to second. Merriman will go to third. As here comes number 12, Cade Urbanski up to the plate. Third baseman here for the Bulldogs. So far 0 for 2 on the evening. But with bases loaded, two outs. Chance to bring in some more runs and add some RBIs to his nightly total. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. Outside, ball one. And if Urbanski can make his way on, he will have batted the order, which means Mason Winters will be on deck, and he is. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Low and inside, ball two. Counts 2-0. Oh. Sandoval coming in relief here in the fourth. Still trying to find his rhythm. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. And that's going to be a little bouncer towards Sandoval. He picks it up. The force out at home. And that'll do it. There's Merriman. will be out number three. So top of the fourth done, your Bulldogs bring three runs across and extend their lead seven to one over the Del Valley Cardinals. Do you have a loved one who needs health care services in the comfort of their home? Robinson Creek Home Health and Hospice can help. We offer a variety of services including wound care, cardiac care, physical therapy, pain management, and much more. Our health care services are covered 100% by Medicare in most cases. Robinson Creek is a local female-owned company committed to doing things right. Visit rchomehealthhospice.com today. That's Robinson Creek Home and Health Care, our Grand Slam sponsor here for the 2022 baseball season. There's Colopy on the mound again here for the Bulldogs. He's going to face off against first baseman J.D. Foz. Roberto Velasquez will be batting second. With Christian Mendoza should be batting third. We'll see where he ends up. He's over at short now. I think he'll be there. But here's the first pitch from Colopy is Foz gets a piece of that one. He's having a heck of a night now as that drops right between second base and center field for a base hit. So J.D. Foz now two for two on the evening. After going 0 for three last night, his bat warmed up really quick. As Roberto Velasquez will make his way up to the plate. Colopy gets set. Quick check over to Foz at first. Here's the pitch. And a little bouncer down the first baseline as Colopy's going to run all the way to first and doesn't 
get the throw in time. As it looked like it was tight, Rodriguez with a quick toss over to Colopy. Velasquez legging that one out, and that's going to be a single for him. J.D. Files will move over to second. As the time is called, and time called by Cardinal coaching staff, as I think they're going to get a pinch runner in for J.D. Foz. They will. It's going to be number 12, Michael Salas. So Salas will take the spot of J.D. Foz over at second. Roberto Velasquez still at first. Brings up Christian Mendoza. He watches that one go by. Gets called for strike one. Counts 0-1. On no balls, one strike, no outs. Mendoza struck out swing in his last at bat in the second inning. Pitch from Colopy. Hits that one, it goes behind. Hits the net. For strike two, counts 0 and 2. Brody, be ready. Jaden, be ready. Colopy gets set. Here's the 0 2 pitch to Mendoza. A swing and a miss. As Mendoza will go down again, swinging for out number one. Come on. Go, Big Rick. Go on down, baby. As up next is going to be number 11, Jordan Rico for the Cardinals. Makes his way up to the plate. One out, two runners on. As that one's going to hit him. And the bases will get loaded after that. Quick time is going to be called by the Bulldogs now. As bases are loaded, one out here, bottom of the fourth. Michael Salas is going to be over at third for the Cardinals. Roberto Velasquez at second with Jordan Rico over at first. Actually, I take that back. There's a pinch runner over at first. And I don't have a number for our first baseman. It looks like number 18. So we'll say it's Brandon Lara. There's the Bulldogs break. Base is loaded. One out. As Pedro Gutierrez makes his way up to the plate. Here's the first pitch from Colopy. The outside for ball one. Counts one and oh. One ball, no strikes, one out, bases loaded. Colopy trying to work his way out of this jam he's in here as that one gets popped behind foul. Counts even now, one and one. Top of the order due up here next for the Cardinals as Diego Sandoval is on deck. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch from Colopy. As there is a foul ball. Strike two. Colopy gets set. Bases loaded here for the Cardinals. Bootie still with a 7-1 lead here. Bottom of the fourth. There's the pitch. Fast ball is Gutierrez gets caught looking for out number two. So two outs now. Base is still loaded for the Cardinals as top of the order is due up now for Del Valley with Diego Sandoval making his way up to the plate. Sandoval's one for two so far this evening. Hit a single back in the third, his last at bat. Chance to get a run in for the Cardinals if he can as there's a pitch. It's going to be too low for ball one. Counts one and oh.
Tollopy gets set. Here's the 1-0 pitch. There's that gets tipped foul. Strike one. Counts even now, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Here's the pitch. There's a big hit towards center field. That's going to drop right between left and center as one run comes across for the Cardinals. It's going to be two runs, and they're going to go ahead and send off for the third run as Starkey catches, and he makes the tag on the third runner. As that'll be out number three. As Laura tried to thread the needle there. So Laura, so give me a second here, folks. I got to tag this up. Starkey with a nice catch. Able to make the tag for out number three. Salas will come across for one. Velasquez will come across for two. And Sandoval will get a single out of that one. And there you have it. All right, let's have to fix this away here. So Bulldogs give it up two runs here in the fourth. Still maintain a 7-3 lead over the Del Valley Cardinals. Going to give a big thank you out to another dog sponsor, Capital Title, Bowie Law Firm. Capital Title and Bowie Law Firm is a full-service real estate title closing office. If you are buying, selling, or refinancing residential or commercial property, we would love to help you out. That's Capital Title and Bowie Law Firm. So Diego Sandoval is on the mound still here for the Cardinals. As Mason Winters gets set to face off as the first batter out. Top of the order right after him with Ty Kutek on deck. So Mason Winters comes out. He's 0 for 2 so far this evening. Hoping to add some more insurance runs if he can to this 7-3 lead. Top of the fifth. About to be underway. Sorry about that. So Winters gets set. Sandoval is set. And here comes the fifth inning. Outside, ball one for Winters. Counts one and oh. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Ranking a little slider outside. Too far out, though. Ball two. Counts 2-0 and here for Winters. He's doing a good job sitting tight and not offering it anything. Here's a 2-0 pitch from Sandoval. There's a big hit between third and short. That's going to be a base hit for Winters. And it's a leadoff single here in the fifth. Well, here comes top of the order now with Ty Kutak making his way up to the plate. Having a pretty good night tonight. He is two for three so far. As it's no outs, one runner on. Quick time called by Kutek as he gets some calls from Coach DeGelio. Looper towards Sandoval. He can't quite glove it. And trying to run that out. And he does as it gets dropped. And Winters. On that throw that gets dropped by J.D. Files will advance over to third. Kutek. We have to call that an E1 on that one. As Sandoval had the glove on it and couldn't quite bring it up. Runners on the quarters here for Jaden Francis as he makes his way into the box. 
Danny Rodriguez will be on deck. And Sandoval gets set. No outs. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball one. Counts one and oh. One ball, no strikes. Sandoval set. Jaden Francis set. Here's the pitch as he swings and misses. And there's a steal. And then as well as Winters will go ahead and take off from third. He'll come across. Kutek. Drawing the throw that was just a little too high from Rico, which allowed Winters to come across. Bowie adds one more to their lead, which now sits 8-3. to three. It'll be called for strike two. Counts one and two now here for Jaden Francis. One runner on in scoring position as Ty Kutek is over at second. No outs here, top of the fifth. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a little too low for ball two. Counts even two and two. Two balls, two strikes, no outs. Runner on second. Jaden Francis at the plate as he swings and takes a big rip. Can't make contact. He'll go down swinging for out number one. As Danny Rodriguez makes his way up to the plate. Jonathan Gonzalez will be on deck. One out. Top of the fifth. Ty Kutek sitting at second, waiting to make his way around third and come home. As Rodriguez gets set. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. We'll get watched by Rodriguez. Not happy with that call, but he'll take it. That'll be strike one. Counts L and one. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch as that's an inside slider there. That was nasty for strike two. Counts L and two. Rodriguez falling behind early. You're gonna have to protect the plate now, battle his way back with Kutak over at second. Way outside, Rico able to glove that. As that'll be ball one. Counts one and two. So one ball, two strikes, one out here for Danny Rodriguez. Tycoon Tex over at second. Quick time is called by Rodriguez. Jonathan Gonzalez on deck. And your Bulldogs with an 8-3 lead over the Del Valley Cardinals. Sandoval's on the mound for the Cardinals. He gets ready. Here's the one-two pitch. As there's a bullet down third base. They're going to call that one foul. Count of stay 1-2. Bulldog faithful don't like that one. For those listening, that was fair. <laughs> Non-biased, that was a foul. That was a foul ball, but it's all right. It's all right, he'll make his way back up. Still one ball, two strikes. The Cardinals will call a quick time and make their way out to the mound. We'll go ahead and recognize another sponsor here for our 2022 baseball season. Let's go to Workhorse Marketing, our dogs, one of our dog sponsors. Workhorse Marketing is an agency that is dedicated to helping small to medium-sized businesses. Whether we are helping you rebuild our website, your website, managing your social media, or even creating a new brand for your company, you can count on us to provide the highest quality service. Let us help you help your clients. As the Cardinals break their powwow on the mound, Kutak will trot his way over to second. One ball, two strikes here for Danny Rodriguez. One out. And here's the pitch from Sandoval. Rodriguez bouncing off third baseline again, bounces off the third baseman. As they're going to catch Kutak here in a rundown. As he will get tagged. That'll be a 
fielder's choice here for Rodriguez as he'll make his way over to first. Two outs now. As Jonathan Gonzalez will make his way up to the plate. If he can get on, Ben Merriman will be on deck. He'll bat next. Gonzalez gets set. Watches that one go by for strike one. Counts 0 and 1. No balls, one strike, two outs here, top of the fifth. Rodriguez over at first. Here's the pitch. As that one's going to be low and inside for ball one. Counts even now, one and one. Gonzalez, one for two so far this evening. As that one goes by for ball two. Counts two and one. Hit a two RBI single in the fourth inning. Sandoval set, Gonzalez set. There's the pitch. That'll get called for strike two. Counts even, two and two. Shot behind foul. Count will stay even at two and two. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. One run around with Rodriguez over at first. Jonathan Gonzalez back in the box. With Ben Merriman on deck. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. He'll be outside, ball three. Count goes full, three, two. Sandoval taking his time. Gonzalez ready. Rodriguez ready. Here's your 3-2 pitch from Sandoval. And he's going to step off and take a look over at Rodriguez at first. Not going to make a throw. So full count. Gonzalez gets set. Rodriguez takes off towards second. It's going to be inside. Doesn't matter. As that'll be ball four for Gonzalez. So he'll walk his way over to first. Rodriguez will advance to second. So here comes Ben Merriman up to the plate. Merriman, 0 for 1 so far. He was able to make it on base with an error in the third and the fielder's choice in the fourth. He's got two runners on here, though. With Rodriguez at second and Gonzalez at first. Is that one's going to hit home plate from ball one. One ball, no strikes here for Merriman. Here's the pitch. It's going to be high as Merriman has to duck a little bit to miss that one. Ball two. Counts 2-0. Two oh. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch from Sandoval. As Merriman takes that one for strike one. One run across so far as Mason Winters was able to cross home plate. Still looking at more insurance runs, though, as here's the pitch to Merriman. He hits that one. A bouncer, a bullet! Not by the third baseman as Rodriguez will round third. He'll make it all the way home. Gonzalez will hit third, and Merriman will go over to second as we'll add another one to the list. Merriman will get himself an RBI. As here comes big batter, number 15, Brody Miller. With two runners in scoring position. The Cardinals have a talk. This might do it for Sandoval. We'll see what they decide.
Travis Starkey will be on deck. It looks like they will have a pitching change. As Christian Mendoza will take his place on the mound. Looks like Diego Sandoval will make his way back over to short. So Mendoza will take over with two runners in scoring position as Jonathan Gonzalez is at third. Ben Merriman's over at second. Two runs have come across so far here in the top of the fifth for the Bulldogs. There's two outs, though, so Mendoza going to look to get one more while Brody Miller is going to look to bring some more runs in. Mendoza gets the call. Brody Miller makes his way up to the plate. Miller so far one for two on the evening. As he takes his way into the box. And folks, two runners in scoring position. Gonzalez and Merriman, third and second respectively. Here's the pitch to Miller. Yeah. That one gets dropped right over the middle for strike one. Counts 0 and 1. Pitch to Miller. Takes a rip at that one. Can't make contact. That'll be strike two. Counts 0 and 2. So Miller falling behind early. Going to have to protect the plate here as here's the pitch as he hits that one right past third. As Gonzalez will come across, Merriman will come across. The two RBIs single for, Mer uh, for Miller. And the Bulldogs keep tacking it on. The Bulldogs breaking the double digits now as they take an 11-3 lead over the Cardinals. Still two outs, one runner on as Miller's sitting over at first. As Starkey's up at the plate. Pulls back in time there. Going to do a quick check down and not going to get a call. As Rico is, that'll be ball one for Starkey. One ball, no strikes, two outs, quick throw down by Mendoza. Not in time as... Miller slides in. Pitch. Breaking ball over home plate. It's called for strike one. Counts even at one and one. Mendoza with the pitch. It's going to be high. It's dropped by Rico, but Miller's going to stay put at first. That'll be ball two. Counts two and one here for Starkey. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Mendoza with the pitch in the dirt. Miller's going to take off towards second, and he is able to get there in time. Three one. <laughs> Good RBI team. So three balls, one strike, two outs here for Travis Starkey. Miller in scoring position at second base now. So here's the pitch from Mendoza. 
Going outside, ball four. And Starkey will take his base. So, so far, folks, Starkey is one for two on the evening. He's been to play four times, though, and he's made it to base every time. So his on-base percentage tonight is through the roof. And if he comes up again, I hope I don't jinx him on that one. As we're going to have a pinch hitter come in with Grayson Ramirez. Come to the plate. So no balls, one strike here for Ramirez. Here's the pitch inside. Ball one. Counts even at one and one. So Miller at second. McGowan over at first as he's pinch running for Starkey. There's the pitch to Ramirez that gets away from Rico. Runners will advance. All right, now bring him in. For the Bulldogs as Miller holds up at third. McGowan will make his way to second. And that's going to be ball two for Ramirez. There's ball three. Nope. Strike two. I'm sorry. Missed that call there. Strike two for Ramirez. Counts even now two and two. Get the piece of that one right up the middle. Out of the Austria's glove. The shortstop is Miller. Taps his way on home as... So does McGowan and a two RBI single for Ramirez. And we'll keep it going. As we've turned the order now. As Mason Winters hit a single in his last at bat here in this inning. We'll watch that one go by for ball one. Counts 1-0. and oh. Pitch. Oh, Winters gets that one. It's going towards right field and into the glove. Right, and right fielder Ben Rodriguez of the Cardinals as the bleeding finally stops for the Cardinals. But the Bulldogs, 1, 2, 3, 4, bat through the order, bring 4 across and extend their lead 13-3 over the Del Valley Cardinals. As we're going to have a new pitcher on the mound for the Bulldogs. As I cannot get a number out of this one. Looks like it's going to be number 19, Cole Miller, sophomore pitcher for the Bulldogs. So that'll do it for Colopy for the evening. And looks like John Bukowski will come in as catcher as well. So bottom of the fifth, 10 run rule will go into effect if the Bulldogs can get out of this without giving up a run. As Diego Mendez makes his way to the plate, here's the pitch. As that one gets chopped foul for strike one, counts 0-1. No balls, one strike. Miller at the plate. Here's the pitch. 
Mendez. Another foul tipped throw for strike two. Counts all and two for Mendez. Jacob Lopez is on deck for the Cardinals, and Ben Rodriguez is set to bat third as Miller with the 0-2 pitch. As that'll be a drop called strike three. And Martinez will go down as out number one as Jacob Lopez makes his way to the plate. One out here, bottom of the fifth. 13 to three is your score as Miller with a high fastball. It's called for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Miller with the pitch, a big rip by Lopez. Can't make contact, that'll be strike one. Counts even one and one. Miller. Gives a few shakes and a quick time is called by Lopez at the plate. We'll get reset. One ball, one strike, one out. Miller with the pitch. Lopez, another foul ball, this time towards the booby dugout. It'll be strike two. Count goes one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Pitch right over home as Lopez tried to sell it. One more, buddy. One more. As Bukowski threw that one and hit the helmet of Lopez. One more, bud. Get him right here. That'll be a strikeout for out number two as here comes Ben Rodriguez. The last hope here for the Cardinals as they trail by 10 here in the fifth inning. No runners on, two outs. Here's the pitch from Miller. And that's a liner right back towards Miller up the middle. That'll go all the way to center field as Rodriguez. We'll get a two out single. Which is going to bring up number 25, first baseman, J.D. Foz. He's been on fire tonight, getting two for two. He went the hat trick last night, striking out three times, going for the hat trick tonight of getting on base three times. As Miller gets set, two outs, one runner on. Here's the pitch. Oz pops that one up. Rodriguez tries to get to it, but just not in time. That'll be strike one. Counts 0 and 1. No balls, one strike, no outs. Excuse me, two outs. Sorry, our scoreboard isn't updated. I'm looking at <laughs> one runner on with. Ben Rodriguez over at first for the Cardinals. Cole Miller on the mound as a gorgeous breaking ball. It's called for strike two. That one had some movement on it. Miller gets ahead here in the count against J.D. Foz. 0-2. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss. It's going to be a drop strikeout. He'll go down swinging for out number three. And that'll do it, folks. There's your Bulldogs. Come away with a run rule win against the Dove Valley Cardinals by a score of 13 to three. I want to give a quick thank you to a few more of our sponsors before we go since we're leaving early. Tyler's. Tyler's is known for their product mix consisting of more than 350 brands and our iconic Tyler's tees that are worn and loved by local Texans, traveling tourists, and everyone in between. With hundreds of color combinations and unique designs released regularly, we want your next Tyler's Tea to be as original as your next adventure. I've got one on myself right now. Be sure you hit up the Booster Club and get your Bulldog Tyler T-shirt. Also, Craig O's, our dog sponsor here uh, for the 2022 season. Craig O's Pizza is a locally owned and operated Italian eatery that supports schools and organizations in the area. Opened in 2003, Craig O's has given over $250,000 back to its community in donations and fundraisers. If you're looking for fresh-made pizza, pasta, salads, and sandwiches, Crego's delivers catering and delivering daily in the area. Crego's Pizza and Pasteria, where community comes first. And rounding out our sponsors is Bush's Chicken. Bush's Chicken, proud sponsor of Bowie Baseball. Swing by Bush's Chicken after the game. 
That's Bush's chicken. It's good, good, good. And that'll have it, folks. Bulldogs take the series against the Dell Valley Cardinals. Start out 2-0 here in district play as they finish this one out 13-3. And then game one last night, 8-0. Our next game will be next week. And it's going to be a good one, folks, as we look to go up against Westlake, the Chaparrales. It's going to be an away game on Tuesday at the 7 o'clock first pitch with game number two next Friday, the 25th, at 7.30 over at Burger. Be sure to come out and cheer on your Bulldogs as this is going to be one of the big, important district games of the season. And that'll do it for me, folks. Again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. I look forward to talking to everybody next week. You're listening to Bowie Bulldog Baseball here on Vibe Live. <laughs>